What up, Tosha Tribe? So today is just a little video clip on um, practices that we have learned. And so I'm just gonna share them with you guys. You know, we like to do videos about real practical things and right, you go to business school, you learn the theory, but it's really being out here in these streets that gives you that real practice. And you gotta fall a lot of times to learn some of these lessons. So this is just a video for you guys for something that I have learned and um, I'm telling you guys about it. So here we are. So you guys already know I love Boda life. Picky, picky, Boda life, okay? What are those? Those are your little motorcycles that you see all over town, whipping through traffic, cutting through, going over, cutting through things. I love it. I love it. I first, when I first moved here, I was like, this is terrifying. And I've seen some horrible accidents, okay? I have seen some disgusting accidents on the back of these little motorcycles, okay? I remember once I was coming back from the airport and I guess the lady just didn't hold on hard enough when the guy took off. She just she just fell back like a sack of potatoes. She said, boop, cracked her head on the floor and it was just blood, just a river of blood. And I was like, oh God, right? There was another time my driver and I, we were doing our rounds. It was like a Saturday morning and it was like early, right? Like we had left the crib at like 7.38. We got onto the highway and it was just bumper to bumper traffic, right? And we had left early so that we wouldn't have to deal with this thing. And it was just like, what is going on? Woo, we got to like what everybody was, you know, gawking at. Some Buddha guy had had an accident fell off the bike, he is just strewn across the road, his ankle, dead, cut off from the rest of his body. There was literally an ankle on the road with the foot attached, I mean, not the ankle, there was a foot on the road, a space, and then his bleeding leg just on the road, and he was just laid out. I was like, dang. Like, damn, not funny, but like, whoa, what is this? And then you just think, right? Most people don't have medical insurance. These are daily wage workers. Like, he ain't got no means of making money on that bike no more. You know what I mean? It's like kind of sad, but like, shit, like, what are you doing? So I've always been very reluctant to take buddhas. Um, I had always just kind of like, you know, whatever. Um, and at the time, originally, we were doing a lot of deliveries via car. And the traffic here sometimes, it's just nuts, y'all. Like, you are you might have like six stops to make with these cars. You'll be lucky. You'll be lucky if you make four of those stops. And that's like, if you're hustling, you know what I'm saying? So my accountant was like, we need to find a way to reduce our costs. So I was just like, ugh, I don't know. Um, I was like, I don't know, what are we gonna do? And she's like, well, why don't we start using Buddha guys for deliveries? And I was like, all right, fine. So, you know, I don't ride Buddha, so I don't know how you find a Buddha guy. I didn't know any of that. So then I asked a friend of mine who does like deals a lot with like cars and um, like renting out cars and like just in the car business. So I hit him up and I was like, hey, if you could help me out, I really need like a Buddha delivery guy who's like you trust and who can do our stuff. So he hands me this guy, right? And, you know, I was like, okay, fine. I was like, if you like him and you know him, that's fine. Um, so we took him on board. So I came up with our flat rate. Like, these are my flat daily rates that you're going to get. You're generally going to be in these areas, you know, blah, blah, blah. Does it work for you? He was like, fine. And he's just like, he was just very, like, abrasive, you know? He was very abrupt. It's like I was trying to give him like instructions. He was like, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. And I was just like, you sure? He's like, yeah. And then he comes back at the end of the day, fucked it all up. And I was just like, next time when somebody is giving you some directions, shut your mouth and listen, all right? Like, I don't know what this is. Um, there would be like one time, like I was out of the country, there was a delivery had to be made. So I called Irene, my house girl, and I was like, yeah, whatever. So I guess it worked out or something. Then there was another time where it was something and he just texted me he's like oh i'm not going so what you mean you're not going 
He's like, yeah, I'm not going because I don't like the way your your other lady was talking to me and she doesn't get to talk to me like that. And I was like, yo, this is work. Like, come on. Like, you know what we're supposed to do. Why are you bothering me right now? And I'm too far for this, right? Fine. So then I come back into town. So I'm having a meeting with my team. And I was like, so what's going on with this guy? And they're all kind of looking around like, you know, and I was like, what? So finally they were like, Rita, he sucks. He is so hard to talk to. My accountant was like, oh, I don't even talk to him. She said, I thought it was me. So I don't even talk to him. I just leave the papers for him in the front. He can pick them up and that's it. And I was like, what? And she was like, and so now across the board, all the ladies in the company have had some horrible experience with this guy. How is that possible? You get what I mean? Like you're here for work. Fine. So now I'm like kind of annoyed or whatever. But now again, my account's like, we need to find ways to cut more costs. So then it just so happens. I was like, you know what, Rita, why don't you just try using this Boda for close things? Because literally y'all, the difference, it's like some of these rides are a dollar. Okay. A dollar 20. And if you're in a car, that thing's like double the price, right? And if we're trying to cut costs, and that's the whole point, right? Is how, where can we cut costs that we can use those extra funds for elsewhere? This was it. So I ended up getting onto one of these bodas and it was like love at first sight, y'all. I don't know what I was so scared about. I love boda. Nowadays, all I use are boda. In fact, if we have like professional meetings, right? Because around here, businesses and corporations, they wanna see you come in a car. They wanna know that you have a car. I've lived in nothing but cities. I ain't never had a car. I've never owned a car. I have never bought a car. I've always used public transportation, walking, or a car, right? A cab. So now I'll just meet them in the Buddha, and then they pick me up around the corner in the car, and then we go in a car because I just don't see the point of having these costs. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, what the hell's the point of this whole video? The point of the video is this. Before you engage and take on new things in your company that you don't know about, you've got to try it out. Once I got onto the Buddha and I understood what Buddha was like, it changed the game. It changed the game. Because now I'm meeting other Buddha guys who are looking to do work, looking to do business. They don't have a problem with being told what to do by a woman, okay? And they're just, they're able to do it. Now I got, I got rid of the other guy. I was like, well, I don't need you. You know how many gentlemen are out here who are going to do this work without giving me a lot of lip? and get this done, done, done. So now I keep a rotation of butter riders in my phone because you definitely have to have more than one on deck, right? Because if you don't, sometimes they're not gonna show up. This is another thing and I'll do another little small thing about business practices that I've learned, which is like super irritating here, but that's what they do. Ooh the video. Anyway, so you're going to be able to, basically the whole point of video is you got to learn what you're trying to have in your business and you got to go do it yourself. And you might surprise yourself and learn that you love doing these things. Like I said, I even put in a deposit for an electric bike because this is how much I love doing Buddha. I've been now doing Buddha for exclusively a year. I generally really hate getting into cars and it's really nice. It's great. It's so liberating. You know, you're just outside flying, cutting through traffic. It's great. So business practice. Before you go out and hunt to go do something, learn it yourself. It's going to make you more knowledgeable in the market and it's going to help you cut your costs. Tusha Tribe, I'm out. But like, comments below. Talk to you later.